welcome everyone to our channel water campus so please subscribe our channel to know more about the latest update on water oil and grease in restaurant wastewater wastewater is divided into two categories one is black water and the other is gray water black water is the water that is generated from bathroom from the toilets and all and grey water is categorized from kitchen waste utensils by washing utensils so so that waste water is called as grey water so here today we will be talking about the grey water treatment if i say restaurant kitchen has to deal with oil and grease which are not easy to tackle in waste water during busy hours restaurant witness high oil and grease and food which causes high BOD also. So disposing both oil and grease is difficult and require proper treatment plan. Absolutely right. Oil and grease are usually found in kitchen wastewater. Oil and grease are poorly soluble. This is the point which has to be noted that oil and grease is poorly soluble in water. Uh, you know that the density of oil is uh, less than water so that's why you can see that they usually float on surface of water and it becomes very difficult to to remove that oil from water oil in water is present in basically four forms one is the free oil emulsified oil chemical emulsified oil and dissolver so majority of oil and grease found in restaurant is free oil second form is emulsified oil which needs to be broken into smaller droplets by giving some agitation. Emulsified oil, I tell you that uh, this type of oil doesn't it, it doesn't remove easily uh, by just uh, manually removing oil from surface of water. First of all, such type type of oil has to give some droplets, has to give some aeration, has to give some agitation, so that the so that its molecules are broken into smaller particles, and then they can float over the surface, and then it can be removed. High temperature in vegetable oil is the source of emulsified oil, and emulsified oil is little difficult than the free oil remove removal. Mechanical oil emulsions will separate by themselves given enough time but without sufficient time for separation to occur that is a grease tab is too small or there is excessive surge water loading loading it, it here it is uh, signifying that uh, the oil and grease trap that is a mechanical uh, equipment which is used for removal if that is designed on a good retention time it is designed on it is designed much bigger in capacity then mechanical oil emulsions they themselves get removed detergents are also used in kitchen so these detergents get mixed with oil and called as chemically emulsified oil when utensils are washed they are using detergents over there so that det detergents get mixed with the water mixed with the wastewater and then it goes into the wastewater chamber here is a technology to treat oily waste one is a variety of filters reverse osmosis Gravity separation, biological process that is MBBR, ASB technology, air rotation, lab, membrane bioreactor, MBR, chemical coagulation, and electrocoagulation. I tell you that uh, out of all these technology, the most efficient and the most economical is the chemical coagulation method. And for biological process, if you are going with MBBR, it's a very good technology also. And it works really fine because we have seen that in oily wastewater BOD level goes very high so this is uh, is also a very good option biological process by MBPR so one common use technique and has gained wide attention for removing organic dissolved is is the process of adsorption yes this technology is also a very good one adsorption means uh, adsorption if you see clay and carbon are among several adsorbents means carbon is a very good adsorb adsorbent and uh, they have a property which, which which due to which they can absorb the oil and it helps in removing oil from them so if you are working or giving any technology then it's the best to give uh, uh, give a mix of technology like chemical co coagulation and adsorption 
this is uh, excerpts uh, which uh, are from research article which also state that oil and grease removal from kitchen waste using carbonized grass as a key medium. So in this article they are saying that carbonized grass and carbon. So we are stating that carbon is a very good method for removing oil which most of are not using these days but if carbon is also utilized in this uh, treatment that is a very economical and efficient system should be designed on correct loading rate that is very important this this is also a one excerpt from a research article where the Wisconsin state says that the soil absorption system the loading rate and this all has to be correct the effective treatment method is the coagulation and flocculation so this is is this is the general scheme which uh, one should follow in a restaurant kitchen uh, or grey water treatment. Uh, one, first of all, it requires a oil removal system, and that's equipment is oil and grease trap. So oil and grease trap. Uh, after that, it goes to a collection sum, and then through it goes to a flash tank where uh, coagulation uh, process takes place, where chemicals are added, and then it goes to settler where flocculation process takes place, and the sludge comes out from here. And then it is passed through filter. Filter has a media of uh, carbon, which is uh, a very adsorbent media, and then it passes on. Well, oil and grease removal. If we tell what is oil and grease trap, so it is divided into three zones. As you can see, first zone is for low turbulence, where oil, where grease uh, is taken care because the wastewater that is filled with oil comes over here it has grease a lot of grease so that settles over here and then removal of that takes place second zone where the oil is removed it comes to the top manually it can be removed from the top or by mechanical scrapper also it can be removed the third zone is is for uh, uh, is for emulsified oil removal and also we can say here the uh, where here the most of the oil has been removed and then it goes to the next unit so water campus point on OGT we say that OGT is a very important equipment in grey water treatment most of the oil is removed here only so what point you have to take in this these are the important point which you have to think before taking care if you are upgrading your kitchen plant consider installing a larger grease trap yes or a series of trap if you see that there are two options you have to install grease trap underground or you have to take your grease trap above the ground above the ground also you can go but make sure that the you are going with larger grease trap or in a series tree grease trap rather than uh, rather than a smaller grease trap Underground uh, grease trap is also efficient if, if they are large in capacity. So this volume is intended to provide waste for a long enough residence time. Okay, If the grease trap receives high surge, also uh, if the load increases suddenly, the high surge volumes comes up. So uh, with high temperature, emulsified oil is coming, chemical emulsified oil is coming. So if you have a larger grease trap or a number of smaller grease trap in series, that will compensate the problem by providing a longer residence time. This is the filter design one should follow. Like uh, this is an ordinary filter where sand and gravel is given. But instead of going with this ordinary filter, what we suggest, uh, what we means what water campus point is that you consider you you consider carbonized grass, clay, and carbon also as a media carbonized grass or carb activated carbon can be replaced in that way or and clay sand and gravel so that's the effective filter is this is the effective filter